Hello kings and queens, welcome back to the Liberty 100% channel. I hope you're doing awesome. Happy New Year, happy 2021. Thank you for supporting me since I started this Liberty 100% channel. It's because of you that I'm here and continuing to make more and more and more videos. Thank you for all the support, thank you for liking, thank you for subscribing, thank you for commenting, and thank you for sharing, thank you for watching the videos. So, if you're new to this channel, just in case, kindly take your time to like, comment, subscribe, share these videos with your family and friends so that they may be able to join the Liberty family. In today's video, I'm going to take down rubber bands from my locks. I usually take down the rubber bands a week after I have retouched them. So, last week I washed my hair and put in the rubber bands. It has been a week now, so in this video I'm going to remove them, you know, I'm going to remove them. As you can see, they are here. Here, you can have a look at them, yeah. So I usually put them at the roots so that they may secure the roots and hold the hair together. Let's do this. Let's do this. So first, I'll start by removing this band here. What do you think about these locks? I think they are growing longer and longer and longer. By the way, I'm going to do a video on when I started my locks, but I'm so confused. That is the, a story of another day, but I'm going to come here and do a video about it so that you can advise me. I'm really confused. I don't know if my locks are two years and some months or they have already hit three years. You're going to help me in that. So... Also, there are some people are commenting about the lint in my hair. I'm so sorry. I understand. I'm also going to do a video on that. But today, let's just get out these rubber bands. of uh, having of retouching can i say retouching your hair using the rubber bands is your hair does not get frizzy even after you remove the rubber bands the rubber bands help secure the hair together so it's kind of neat even though mine ain't that neat i just love it kind of frizzy and I'm just okay with it. just pull and it will rupture so we are almost done such an easy task by the way any questions that you may have comment in the comment section below i will gladly answer them yeah anything anything any question that you have i'll gladly answer it by the way what is your experience of having thick locks in the corporate world what is your experience or what can you advise anybody with thick locks or congo dreads that wants to join 
to the corporate world i think that is a discussion we need to have here and i hope i'll do so i'll have time so that we can talk about that what do you think comment in the comment section as you give the reviews about my locks yeah i think the front part is done like done go to the back side just rupture and come off so don't worry don't worry you can replace or just let them let the, the locks be you know yeah the ones that will hold in there until the end of the week well and good you'll re you will re just remove them at the end of the week so don't worry here here are mine i don't know yeah yeah they are here they are oily and that makes it easier for them to come out so yeah that's it for today i hope you enjoyed the video and thank you Oh, <laughs>